Good afternoon. This is Crystal over to Decoupage She Raj. And today I'm going to teach you how to make chalk paint. Um, I usually use this Waverly chalk paint. I bought it at Walmart. Well, I've been watching YouTube as we all do and Greenway Biotech has some calcium carbonate that I'm told makes some really good chalk paint. So that being said, we're going to try to make this today. I'll put that down here from now. I went to my local Home Depot and I ordered some sample there, color sample paints. This is pure white, flat, got to use flat. Uh, so this is perfect. It comes in one cup. And that's how you're going to make this with one cup. I got a ball jar. Happens to have the one cup right here. So that works out great too. But we're going to make it in this today. And you can use between two and four tablespoons of the calcium carbonate. And I'm going to do it with three. Right in the between. I've never made this before. So I think we can learn to make it together. Okay, so there's one. I don't want a lot of this powdery stuff floating about. Even though the plaster of Paris is much more worse to breathe in than this. That's why we're often with this. It's a much safer ingredient. So to that, I have tap water here. Again, uh, I'm going to add two tablespoons. You can use more or less depending on what you want. We're going to go with the two. Simply because I think that's going to be easier for us to stir this first time. And we can always adjust it down the road. So we want to mix this up so there's no lumps and bumps. So that's what we're going to do. Just keep stirring and stirring and getting the lumps and bumps out. This is a silicone knife I picked up at Goodwill and I thought it would be a great tool for this endeavor. And this is actually mixing quite well. Um, I don't even see any lumps and bumps at this point, but I'll stir it a bit more. I just keep on stirring and stirring. And actually, there's no lumps, no bumps. So what I'm going to do now is just open this up and let's add it to it. We're going to add it to it. That's kind of handy. Whoa. God sake, get out as much as you possibly can. I'm going to have to clean this up after anyway. This lovely little turntable I got at Goodwill the other day. Pay by the pound, so I don't think it cost me too much. Okay, that's out. So we'll say that's our cup. So we're going to stir this up. So it's evenly incorporated. This is a pretty good consistency. I can say I like this already. Get that off the side. As you can see, that's pretty good. And that's how easy it is to make this. Um, I'm telling you, if I was you, I'd be going online because this is eight ounces. It's two dollars if you order the samples. So you go to Walmart or something, or you go to even the dollar store. You're paying a dollar twenty-five for two ounces. Probably more than that in the others, but 
Unless you get the cheapest stuff, you might get a little bit cheaper, but then what kind of acrylic paint are you getting? You know, this is a good brand. A very good brand. So we're going to see what the coverage is here in a little bit. But for now, you know how to make it. And in a little bit, we'll show you how to use it. Thanks for watching.